means smashing apples, but really, it's a song about smashing prejudices, smashing hatred, smashing judgment, smashing any kind of separation. That is our battle cry, and that is what we've been singing around the world. There's too much separation in this world right now. Elections just happened. The weather. Whether you're happy about who's in the White House or not, you need to appreciate one very important thing, and that is that we have the freedom to choose who our leaders are. America is and was founded on the premise of democracy, which is freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of choice. So please, people, do not take these things for granted because I have been around the world and we have, we have been to countries where people are put in jail for speaking their mind, like this you. riot. the president. We have gay men in Russia imprisoned for being gay. No. We have Malala Yousef Hazi, who was killed, shot in the head by a member of the Taliban for writing a blog about the importance of girls getting an education. Thank God she's doing well. And thank you to Malala and many other freedom fighters around the world who are willing to die for something that we take for granted. Now, we also have to call attention to the fact that New York has been devastated by a hurricane. And I think people really underestimate the damage that has been done. Thank you! The homes, the jobs, the livelihoods that have been lost. In Rockaway Beach, in Brooklyn, in Staten Island, in New Jersey, in Long Beach, all over in Lower Manhattan. Bravo! And there are many wonderful people, some of them here tonight, who have started amazing initiatives and foundations and help for people who have nowhere to live, who have no food, who have nowhere to yesterday with my children and we saw what was going on down there. We saw the destruction and it was really sad but we also saw amazing acts of humanity. People sharing with other people, people working hard, cleaning out houses, handing out food, blankets, giving love and a hug. I saw people whose eyes were pinned open. They looked like they hadn't slept for two weeks. They couldn't stop. They couldn't be more helpful. Okay? And I want to give a big thanks to those people too. We owe them a lot. New York owes them a lot. And thank you to Governor Cuomo, the Governor of New Jersey. There's a lot of people who have shown an enormous amount of care, compassion, and humanity in this time of great need. But I want to say just one more thing. Why do we always have to wait till a catastrophe happens to show this kind of love and compassion and humanity? Why? Why can't it just be an everyday thing? Like Obama said, why can't we just love one another 
regardless of what our beliefs are, what color our skin is, what our sexual preference is, can we just start treating each other like human beings every day? Can we just be human beings all the fucking time to each other? That will be a fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! And let me tell you something. If we start treating each other like human beings every day, that is the beginning of peace around the world. So that is what